It's Julie Davison and Susan LaCroix. And today is October 24th. It is time for Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie. Yay! <laughs> oh, we've been doing this weekly video series. I think this is our 21st week, which is really exciting. Mom and I are both demonstrators. In fact, today is your anniversary, Mom! <laughs> Thank you. I can't believe it's been 19 years that we've been doing wow. this. I, I never thought it would be. <laughs> I'd still be doing this in 19 years, but yeah. Oh my goodness. I know when I joined too 19 years ago, like I I never planned that this would be like a long-term thing. Right? I just wanted a discount when you signed up. Like I just wanted you to take over my customers in Michigan and <laughs> um, you were working full-time. I was working full-time. Like, yes. <laughs> And so yes. I don't, yeah, I don't think we ever dreamed that we would have gone on so many incentive trips and traveled the globe together. It's been, it's been an amazing 19 years. It really has. It really has. So, uh, yeah. So you'll hit your 20th the day before my birthday next year. Yes. So we'll and have to remember. And so yeah. we'll have to do something to celebrate over the summer, like some, something we in will. the middle of June and Ooh. October. What would that be like? Yeah. Around my I don't birthday. Know. <laughs> Could be. Could be. So oh, well, yeah. Yeah. With no incentive trip next year, then we'll just have yeah. to like make our own. In fact, maybe we can just do another girls' weekend. We just got back from doing a girls' weekend oh, yeah. last weekend. It was so much fun. And you know what? I don't think I told you this, mom, but I did not schedule my premiere correctly so when I was driving home like the video was there but it did not premiere like it was supposed to so if you if you were waiting and missed out on the premiere I'm, so, I'm sorry I messed that up but we did have a great time we um, did we really did well first of all I mean just being with you and Jim and the kids I mean that mm. was such a highlight I just love it I, you know we got to see <laughs> Tom and Claire March uh, for their senior for Tom's senior night we got to see Elise play basketball. We got to celebrate her 13th birthday with her. Uh, just, you know, it was just, uh, it's a time sucker because when yes. we're there, it's just like yeah. time speeds up and all of a sudden it's bam, dad left with the dogs. And the <laughs> next day you and I packed up your car <laughs> and headed to the Airbnb, which was absolutely beautiful. Oh it was amazing. Oh, the, oh yeah. It had it been amazing. originally a horse farm. Mm. And then when they sold it, there were a few cows there, but then the cows were gone. And then the daughter bought it from her dad or inherited it. And so over the years, there was some renovations to it. And then they uh, lived in it for a few years and then just really recently opened it up. It's in Richmond, Indiana. If you ever want a quiet, quiet place just to get away, that, that is absolutely beautiful. The only downside was the Wi-Fi, but they're yes. out in the country and they didn't, you know, so yeah. But which other for than a that, stamping retreat wasn't a big deal. Like we did stream a movie yes. and some baseball yes. games and it worked okay for that. Yeah. Um, and certainly like the regular getting online kind of stuff, but we were looking yeah. at possibly going there for on stage at home, yeah. which is next week. And it just, the Wi-Fi cannot handle the streaming for that platform. So yeah. I'm really bummed that we won't be able to go back for on stage, but um, uh, I'm going to try to just reschedule it and go back a different weekend and maybe bring Jim and the kids and Oh, they'll well, love it. Yeah, I know. It. it was, it was such an amazing place. And it did go too fast as time always does. <laughs> I had plans for all kinds of things that I wanted to do and most of them did not get done. <laughs> Um, and yeah. we had hoped to film one more time while we were there. And that just we did. that didn't happen. Didn't happen. I didn't have my project ready, but I do have okay. my project ready now. Should we jump into our stamping? Let's do that. So <laughs> I am going to tell you all about this cute, cute, cute suite. And it is on page 30 and 31 of the mini catalog. It is called the Sweet Stockings Suite. And so there's lots of things. Uh, lots of stamps, lots of dies. So I'm just going to move the catalog and, and show you live and in person um, what's in here. So here's the stamp set. Um, and so I'm hoping there's no glare there. So it has a kitty and it's got a little, I guess, hamster, a little rodent and a puppy, some presents, three different sizes of stockings, lots of greetings, some 
extra things, some stars and candy canes and stuff and a little Santa hat. Uh, so this is the photopolymer clear stamp set. And then the die, there's 22 dies <laughs> to this. Uh, so there's dies. Yeah, yeah. So there's the three different size stockings. There's uh, dies for the faces. There's even like the heel and the toe of the stockings, you know, star. I mean, there's just all kinds of fun and a couple tags. So this is a really nice big one. There's stitched rectangles. This little guy isn't stitched. There's even a couple presents because there's a couple presents on the stamp set. And so you can die cut those out as well. So, but that's not all. So I'm going to move <laughs> this out of the way. Oh, wait, like there's, there's, oh, more. Wait, there's more. So here's the designer series paper. <laughs> and it's just too cute. One, <laughs> one sheet is cuter than the other. So here's the front and back of one. I thought I would try showing it this way. I love that. Um, and this is a 12 by 12 paper, even though this is 12 by 12. Paper. I've cut it down to show. Yep. Yep. Then there's these cute stockings, which you can die cut out. And there's all three sizes in there. And the back of that are these stars, which can certainly be used for even Halloween. That's what I was thinking. I was I just going to say that. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. We have, we have, we have one more week for get ready for Halloween. Oh, yeah. And then there's some... <laughs> I don't know. The kitty doesn't look very happy in this paper. Would you be if you were wearing little <laughs> antlers? Well, I wore a, a big spider on my head for my team meeting and a headband. And I thought it was funny. Uh, and this is the willingly. back side of it. You did that willingly. willingly. <laughs> yes, I did. And so this is the, uh, the back of this sheet. And then I love these lights. As a matter of fact, I use both of these patterns on my project. Again, this is not really Christmassy. You could yeah. pretty much do it for anything. And then there's some miniature versions of the kittens and the hamster, or the dog. And then this fun pattern. And this is similar to patterns we've had in the past. So that's, I think that's adorable. And then the, just these happy little puppies. You know, I think, <laughs> I think this is a corgi, right? Yes. Which, um, our son Mark and his wife Angie have, and his name is Barney. So this kind of looks like Barney. I think so. And they also have a couple of cats. So this could be Snooky or Roo. I bet Angie uses this for something. And then <laughs> this is the back of that, this olive stripe. Again, a non Christmassy yeah. pattern, but certainly works. Okay, so that's the designer series paper. And there's a couple more elements. And this is felt fabric. Oops. And I, Julie, have you done anything with the felt yet? I really haven't. In fact, I didn't buy this one because I still have the felt from last year, which has a white in it. So oh, I, there I, go. <laughs> I get to cheat and use, uh, I'm not, I'm not using today, but I did cut from the white felt for a project I will show today. I'm not going to demonstrate it, but I was surprised at how um, it still captured like the detail of the stitching. It really showed through in the felt and it cut really yeah. easily. So, well, that's kind of what I was wondering. And so I have, I haven't played with it and maybe I will, but we have bumblebee and we have white and we have cherry cobbler, we have old olive. So they are stamping up colors. And it's nice and soft. I mean, it's not like it's real stiff or anything. So I think we could have some fun with that. I just haven't played with it yet. I haven't played with the sweet much, to be honest with you. You know what? I haven't really either. I just got the stamp set and dies. But before, I was just making cards with the designer paper because it's so cute. Right. We And we got the designer paper in Hawaii. That's right. We did. So, I mean, my project... Uh, we didn't have the stamp set yet when I had my uh, team meeting after we came back. So we have this um, pool party striped ribbon, which is real pretty. And then we have these fun matte decorative dots. dots and it's in um, cherry cobbler, bumblebee, old olive. And I guess this is Maybe. eating evergreen, but it's kind of an ombre. So if you kind of look, blue. yeah, it could be a blue. Huh. But it is kind of an ombre if you look. Mm -hmm. So interesting. Anyway, so that that's the components of the suite. So Jules, are you ready? Because you're going to go first. Yeah, let me. Right. Um, my phone is 
Okay, let me switch this over. I'll set up while you're stamping. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so um, I have some shadowy things. Okay, um, let me actually start with some samples since we were just talking about it and then I'll share. So here's the one I was just telling you about that I worked on today. I'm gonna to open it up so you can see the felt a little closer. Um, and you can see that stitch detail comes through on the felt. And I, I just love the extra texture that it adds to the card. So here's just like a fun little flip card with the banner. Um, and then the other cards all use the designer paper and cut out from them. This one is Little Delight. The stamp set has a Christmas bulb that coordinates really well with the um, with the designer paper. In fact, the little filament is exactly the same design as is on the paper. Uh, this one is from Karen Titus. Again, just cutting the designer paper. And then this cute one with the little corgi is by April Lopez. Sorry about the, the glare. Okay, so today's card, I wanted to show kind of a fun technique. I'm using the, the little cat and um, I'm gonna show you the wrong way <laughs> and then a way to avoid, I guess it's not, it's not a wrong way, but I wanna show you what happens when you stamp because all the little animals that, um, the cat and the dog and the hamster or whatever it is, oops, I still had ink on there. Um, they have these cute little paws that look like they're peeking out from the stocking. But um, when you stamp on here, you get like the line through the face, oh, <laughs> a little bit yeah. in the line through the paws. So the way to avoid that is by doing the masking technique. So you want to stamp the um, I would say the foreground image first. So I'm gonna stamp the stocking and then I'm gonna use a little piece of um, sticky note. And this is really easy because it's just a straight line. Now, if I was trying to um, do something around a curved image, you could stamp on the sticky note and then cut around it. But this is perfect. I just need the little line to cover the top. And so now when I stamp my, um, my little cat, I can take that post-it note off and it looks like he's tucked inside and you don't have that issue of lines going through the image. So just a quick, a quick little tip with the stockings. Um, simple I stamp, like of course, if you're going to stamp and die cut like I did on this card, then it's not an issue, right? Because you can just die cut it and then put it over the top and it doesn't look like it's, but if you're not using the dies and you're just stamping, then you're definitely gonna wanna do some masking. So I did some simple coloring. I used um, colors to match the designer paper. So I colored, I'm gonna do it really quick, just the cat. Um, I, I was thinking of Claire's coloring tips. Um, last week she shared how she colors with the stamp and blends and she said she uh does the light first and then adds some dark and then comes back again with the light and then comes back again like she really layers it really well and i'm not always so great about that but um it is a beautiful result if you have the patience to do that so i always do um the light color first and then i add the dark and let it sort of bleed and blend into the light. And sometimes if I feel like it needs a little more blending, I'll come back with the light and, and blend it a little bit better. So for the cat, I'm doing the light first, and then I'm gonna come back with the dark and just add like a little bit around um, the whiskers and the, um, the ears, and then come back. I'm trying to be light with my line. I don't think it's working so well. <laughs> no, if you, if anybody um, who's watching did, has not seen um, Claire's card from last week, uh, you'll have to watch it just to watch her color. Even if you don't want to see us, you can always fast forward through us and get to Claire. Uh, but it's amazing. It is, her results were absolutely amazing. 
So, oh, nice. That's so cute. Just get that little shade in there. Okay, so let me yeah. let me fast forward and show you the finished card. So I actually have two versions. On this one, I did a different stocking and I wanted to incorporate the presents. And so I stamped them on the bottom, but I wasn't sure. Actually, I, I think I sent you a picture, mom. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just felt like maybe it was too busy and conflicted too much. So I have a oh, second hmm. version with the designer paper. And I think I like that extra designer paper layer a little bit more. What do you think? Well, I, I agree with you, but I, I thought the presents were fine underneath it. I would have gone with it. All right, well, leave a comment and let us know which one you like, this or that. I realize the stockings are different too. So this is the large stocking and then this is the smaller one. Um, I'm not sure which stocking I like better, but I was concerned about the stripes mm -hmm. like conflicting with the yeah. diagonal stripes here. So that's why I, I flipped them around. Um, and then I don't know how well you can tell, but I did add a little Wink of Stella to the white in the stocking to kind of add some oh, shimmer to it. Well, I wanted to show you one more um, card and to just give you some measurements and tips for this. So Claire's not joining us today, but she and I collaborated and made this card last month. This is one of those never ending cards. So I'm going to show you how to open it and then I'm going to share some measurements and just show you how to put the base of the card together. So this card opens like this and then from top to bottom. And so you can see all the that. pieces of the designer paper. And, and it looks just, ridiculously hard. I know. It's called the never ending card, but it's really not that hard. So in the video description, we'll include all the measurements for the designer paper. And I'm going to share with you really quick just the measurements for the card base. So the card base itself is four pieces of cardstock. I'm using crumb cake here. Um, so for the front pieces, you can kind of see how those line up. These are, are two pieces that are two inches by five and a half, scored at one and a quarter and four and a quarter, essentially one and a quarter from each end. And then the other two pieces for the card base are two and three quarter by four inches. You'll need two of those. And you'll wanna score at one inch and three inch is. And again, that's about one inch from each side. So those are, those are the pieces for the card base. Before you put it together, I think it helps to just do some, um, folding on the score lines so that the card moves the way you're going to need it to. And then um, after you prep that, you're going to put, I like to use tear and tape. I suppose you could use liquid glue, but I would just worry about it being um, going where you don't want it to go. So essentially we're going to line these up and we're going to put um, tear and tape in each of the four corners. So this is, as you can see, this is like the card front. So I'm I'm doing those tall pieces right next to each other. So I why do you put two pieces of tape? Um, why not just one? I don't know, I guess just to make sure it sticks. <laughs> <laughs> one is probably fine, but um, with all the movement of this card, like I just wanna make sure that it doesn't fall apart. Okay. Okay, so this is the tall pieces and then the, the short pieces that are wider go in the opposite direction. Okay, so mm. these are tall this way and then these two pieces go this way. So you're going to line them up with the, um, with the, in the corners. So I'm just going to take the tear and tape off the top. Oh, geez. Okay, and then this is going to line up. I'm gonna do one end and then the other. So they like just sort of sandwich right on top of each other. So is this, is this making oh. sense? Oh man, okay, I get it now. Yeah, it's it's not that hard. Like the the hard part is the the decorating and choosing the patterns yeah. and you know figuring out what to put everywhere, but it's really pretty easy. And then I guess the other hard part is uh, telling the person you send it to how to open it. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is gonna go uh, right down there and connect in the four corners. And ideally like everything should like line up and be flat. I'm, I feel like somehow I'm a little off here. And so I would probably just trim, um, trim where it didn't quite line up. Okay, so then you just do the opening. So you open here, you can get 
you know, just reinforce those creases and then it opens again, top Look to bottom. Look at that. And then again, oh, I don't know oh. why that's so off. It should, it should be, it should meet up. Oh, oh that's weird. Oh, that's confusing. Did I not? Okay, well, you get how to put it together. The measurements that I put in the video description will be <laughs> will be correct. That's what I used for this card. So it's possible that I just um, got the measurements off a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm not sure why that one doesn't work, but this one does. But follow the measurements in the video description and then put the corners together like I showed you and you should be good to go. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Wow. Now? I am ready. Okay. <laughs> Let me switch the camera over to your desk. All right. So I have some things laid out. And before I start, I just want to um, give a shout out to Kelly Zerwanka. Kelly Zerwanka. Is, am I saying that right, Jay? Kelly Zerwanka. It, um, Julie does this great big swap a couple times a month. And so I saw this card and thought, oh my gosh, I love this fold. So um, I decided to do that for this um, for this week's video. Um, I think it's called a crossover gate fold. And her website is paperpixie.com. So that's actually um, Julie DiMatteo's website. Oh, so, um, well, wait a minute then. Maybe I have it wrong. Well, that's just where it, she saw the card. That's Oh, like, that's where she saw the card. Yes. So she was just okay. giving credit to where she got, got the it. From. All right. So I have to give credit to both of them. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, ladies, because it's a really cute card. Okay. So as Julie mentioned, all the dimensions, again, will be in the video description. Um, but the card base is cherry cobbler. Oh, I got a little bumpy thing here. It's eight and a half by five and a half, and it's scored at two and an eight. So when I do a gate fold, I only score one side. So, uh, and I'll show you how that's going to work. And then um, our designer series paper, I actually cut it uh, at four by two and three quarters, uh, the design, the two patterns of designer series paper, and then I die cut them out. So, you know, just kind of, cause it's got a layer on here. And then I did two basic whites, the same thing, four inches by two and three quarter inches. Okay. And then I have, um, three inches by one inch for the greeting, which I've already stamped. Santa, Santa Paws is coming to town. And then I have another small piece of designer series paper, two and a half by one and three quarters. I'm going to put it over here. And then an inside piece, which is, I didn't measure it, but it's four inches by five and a quarter. Uh, so that'll go on the inside. And then I did, um, just because I wanted to, <laughs> um, I went ahead and um stamped and die cut our little puppy face and a stocking and a, a little santa hat and i would normally have used a big stocking uh, for this card but i was a little concerned about uh fitting it uh, and you'll see why because it's going to go on um it's going to go on this piece so i was just worried if i used the long one I might not be able to get everything on there. Your coloring is so cute on that dog. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I um, actually, I did when, when I was playing, I used some grace because I was thinking of Ruben. Our oh. little <laughs> um, who gave us quite a scare the other day, by the way. Oh. He just stopped eating. Is he feeling better now? He's feeling better now. Yeah, but oh, he okay. he worried me quite a bit. All right, so I'm just going to move these things off while we just kind of get some other stuff done and start doing some assembly. All right, so I'm going to take these guys off and throw them up here. And get them out of the way. All right, well, let's go ahead and do the inside of the card. Um, so I want to remember to do it this way. I mean, how many times have you done a landscape card and then you've done your inside in a portrait position? Yeah, I, I think I we don't want to say. <laughs> it does happen. All right. I just did it last night. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Oh, we can laugh about it now. <laughs> All right, so I'm using cherry cobbler for Christmas greetings on the inside. You know, I, I was thinking back to this, I was stamping the other day and I, I used to just use plain white paper. Uh, I used to get it at an office supply store way, way back when. And I realized that when I was looking at it, I, I was stamping crooked because I was turning my head. So I bought <laughs> some grid paper. I know it sounds silly. Um, and then I can line up the edge of my um, paper uh, with the lines and then just go ahead and stamp it. I always try to keep like the, the block parallel with the top of the paper. Like that's one way that I, yeah. I, I make sure my stamp is on there straight and then I just try to keep it, it parallel. Uh, Especially yeah. for rubber stamps where you can't like see through them. Yes. You can't see exactly where you're going. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and I decided to put a little Santa hat since Santa Paws is coming to town. <laughs> so I'm going to get these inks off the table before I stick my hand in them. And I think I'll just use, I'm going to use the dark cherry cobbler. I just realized I didn't stamp inside my cards. I'm going to have to fix that. Yeah. I'm not going to get all fancy with shadings because this is just a little hat. I suppose I could have, you know, done some Wink Stella, but yeah, that's it. So here's the inside of the card. So we're going to set that aside. And I didn't bring up over a bone folder. Anyway, so this is going to be. Um, an up and down, an up and down. I do need a bone folder for this. <sighs> Since I only score one side. All right. It wasn't on camera, but I saw your shirt when you leaned over and I oh, love yeah? it. Uh, <laughs> got it up on Mackinac, Mackinac Island. Uh, when I'm done, I can maybe show you guys. But what I do is I only score one side so that I can make sure that my cardstock meets in the middle. I love that tip. I need to do that more. And you want to make sure it has a good crease. So this is going to go on the inside. So we'll go ahead and put our um, inside piece on. So I have my favorite adhesive, <laughs> which I have in a shot glass from Rome. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm hoping, Julie, we can get to the Baltic. I think that I would love a shot glass from St. Petersburg. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, we're definitely going, so. <laughs> yeah. There the, you go. The earning period just started for the yep. Baltic Sea. We have a year to do it. But I'm, I'm just that confident that we're going to. Oh, yeah. That we're going to make it. Yeah. Because oh, yep. the only thing I'm worried about is that the trip is going to be like right around when Claire graduates. That would be a problem. And so hopefully it won't be, hopefully that won't be a conflict. Like, I think it'll work out so that it's right. We get home and then a couple of days later she graduates, but I have to, I have to double check the dates because that trip won't be until um, 2023 right. um, in May. So we have, we have some time. <laughs> We haven't earned yep. it yet, so <laughs> that's step one. This is true. But yeah, I'm going, I am definitely going to earn that trip. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going, I'm putting this on the basic white piece. And then I'm just going to take my snips and um, just trim off the corners. I know there's probably, I just didn't feel like getting up and checking my other dies to see if I had one that would oh would no I think it's much easier just to trim that's what I would do although I would use my big scissors I know you would <laughs> all right so there's one guy <laughs> and I would chastise you for doing so <laughs> <laughs> oh lord 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 okay would have been nice if they had made a layering piece to go with this. But there you go. That's, um, do you recognize this, Julie? 
I do. I was just looking at that. That was the center stage gift that we got last year for Beth. Yes, it was. Home. Yeah. I don't know where mine is. It's not on my scissors. Huh. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to glue these down this way. So opposite directions. And so obviously with a gatefold, you don't want to put glue over all of it because you want to be able to open your card. So we're just going to put some on the bottom. I probably have too much. Oh, come back here. And then the same thing with this, it's just going to go on the top. And you're going to have to go right to the edge. And actually, you know what I should have done? I may, I, do, I don't know if I can do it now. I probably need to move this guy over a wee bit. Mm. Do you do it? And, oh. <laughs> I don't use liquid glue. <laughs> okay. It's a little trickier go. with the liquid glue. Once it's set, like then you're just tearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we want to do our decorations. So I mentioned that I have my little, um, my little stocking boy here and my little puppy. And so we're going to just glue him on. I'm going to glue him on with a little liquid glue. All right, let's see. I want to make sure I leave enough room for everything. And then um, I'm going to use some dimensionals on our, our guy. And I'll just, just use some little ones because, well, they're right here. All right. These really are stinking cute. I mean, I just, this whole set. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Do you have stockings for Ruben and Bella? You know, I used to. <laughs> I don't know where they are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to get our little puppy coming out of the stocking. Isn't he cute? I just love him. And then um, I'm going to put his little Santa hat on with one. He's going to kind of come over the puppy's forehead. Oh, kind of askew a little bit. So that's that side. And then on this side, I'm just going to put this piece and put this guy here. Cute. So he kind of, this little DSP kind of just peeks over the edges of the one with the Christmas lights. And I'm not gonna pop him up. So I'm just gonna throw a little liquid glue on him and stick him here. All right, what so a the fun whole card. Idea, I know, isn't it? So it's kind of, um, how do I wanna do this? Did I glue this one? No, I didn't put this wrong. That's right. Because this is this way. So you have to kind of talk. But I did bring out some of the matte dots. Oh, yeah. To put on him. Now, so I guess the question is, what color? I could, I've got some of the bumblebee ones here, too. Whoop. Well, which side are you going to put them on? He, I, on the stocking side. But okay. it kind of picks up the bumblebee from the the bulbs. So what do you think? I like the red. Yeah, I put red on the, the one I was I made at your house. Okay. I'm just gonna grab. Oh, let's see. Let's put one guy up here. And put a couple guys down here. Oh, that is just the perfect finishing touch. It really is. There he is. Oh, I love it. But, um, so the other card that I did when we came back from Hawaii that we did at a team meeting, just using designer series paper and the fa la 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 came from another <laughs> stamp set. And 
I believe it was also when we got it. Yeah. I don't remember the name of it, but anyway, so here's some of the ribbon. And I just uh, fussy cut out the dog, wrapped in lights. Um, I don't think I did the inside. I did that. <laughs> <laughs> I just did a pool party circle and a black scallop one to just to make it pop a little bit more. Cute. So those are two, and I, you know, it's cherry cobbler card base. I could have picked a different card base, but it's Christmas. Um, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so that's what I have for you today. So it's a fun little card. And again, the measurements will be in our description. So I Jay, if you want to bring us back together. Yeah, let's, uh, there's you and let me add me. See, show your shirt really quick. Then. Oh, sure. Oh, there, there you says go. Native. <laughs> With the state of Michigan in there With for the A and the I. Yep, so this is the lower peninsula. Um, we're a troll, we're trolls because we live under the bridge. And then this is, <laughs> this is the upper peninsula kind of turned sideways. To form the, <laughs> I can't do this. To form the eye, so yeah, I've had people kind of look at my shirt and kind of turn their head. It's like native Michigander. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't recognize the state of Michigan by its shape, then you probably have no idea what that shirt means. That's I true. love it though; it's so clever. And oh, we're both wearing yellow today. Right. We are. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's show our cards in here. <laughs> Cheese. Cheese. Well, this was fun. I really enjoyed playing with the sweet stockings. Um, yeah, I did too. Um, as we get into the mini catalog, I feel like every time we talk about what to show, like we've already done this and we've already done that. Uh, but next yeah. week we get to Ooh. show off something new. Yeah, it's a sneak peek of something that will be coming in the um, next mini catalog, which starts in January. However... I can, I'll tell you this much, the stamp set and the die will carry over. It, this will be um, available to purchase in November. Yep. <laughs> Excuse me. And there is designer series paper. There are some beautiful gems and there's some cotton paper. Have you played and, it yet? Uh, no, I have it out on my table. Because I want to play. I have I have a couple ideas I want to try. Um, I haven't made anything yet. <laughs> I have uh, a lot of playing to do this uh, week. I did I made three projects for our team meeting this past week, last week. So that um oh I'm gonna cough, excuse me. Oh um so I and all three were using uh, the name the suite uh, because I wanted them to have some samples and yeah um, even those who joined on Zoom, you know, and I said, well, how many have this? Because, you know, we can't send stamped anything through the mail. So yeah. sometimes if they don't have what I'm um, using, then they have to substitute another stamp set, which isn't too, too big of a deal usually. Um, but I think every hand raised. Yay. Either they already have it or it's on its way to them. So yeah. <laughs> I didn't have to worry about it. But um, I will tell you, if you like it, don't wait yeah, because yeah. when it's a uh, while supplies last. So especially so in this day and paper. age, oh, it is gorgeous. I, we can't wait to show it to you. <laughs> but just, you know, in this day and age with all the shipping issues, yeah. uh, it's affected everybody, including stamping up. So uh, you've been so uh, patient and understanding when something is an orderable and it's kind of out of our control and it's out of Stampin' Up's control as well. Yeah. Um, so we thank you for that. And we ask you to continue to be patient <laughs> but just understand that when the supply that they have in the warehouse is gone it's gone and they're not going to bring it back for the next catalog just the stamp set and the die so anyway just the, that's... Just the stamp set and the die will carry over to the catalog. correct the designer paper and the cotton paper and the gems are while supplies yeah. last are yes. limited so yeah it sounded like you were saying it the opposite so well i'm glad you cleared that up because <laughs> i probably did <laughs> So we'll be showing tea. you we'll be showing you some of the Eden Garden um, sweet items and projects next week. So be sure to tune in on Sunday. It's Which is it Halloween. Is, it's Halloween. Oh, goodness. So we're not doing right? Halloween projects. Tune in on Halloween no. to see Eden's Garden projects. Yes. <laughs> and you'll be able to start ordering Eden's Garden on Tuesday, November. Second. Second. Yep. So for my <laughs> club members on the first and the 
3rd. Is that right? Yes. Monday and Wednesday, November 1st and 3rd. Um, you can order it because I'm putting the orders in as soon as I can when I have everybody's orders on Wednesday. So um, I, I, you know, I, I have faith that there's enough to get, to get me through club. Yes. <laughs> Anybody else who might want it. So yeah. Yeah. So I will. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to share it with you. I am too. So after, as soon as we log off, I am sitting down to play with Eden's garden. Um, ah. to see what I can come up with. So I can't, I can't wait. It's going to be, it's going to be fun. It is going to be fun. Well, on that note, um, it's temperatures are definitely dropping. I mean, yes. it is, I'm wearing long sleeves because, uh, we've been in the fifties and sixties. Dad even turned the heat on the other night. I was so cold. I was under a blanket. Yeah, we turned our heat on too. Like it's just getting too cold in the evenings. And I mean, it's been taking know. on all day long too. Yeah. I don't know if you remember when we moved into this house 18 or 19 years ago for Christmas, you gave us something called warm rails. I do remember and, that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, uh, we, there, it's on <laughs> um, and it's lasted all these years. So it's a towel rack that you plug in and it warms up your towels and there is nothing like wrapping yourself in a warm towel. So <laughs> when it's cold I, like, it just dawned on me that I've never actually taken advantage of warm towels while at your house. You haven't. I yeah. I don't recall ever having a warm towel at your house. I usually ah. don't shower in the master. So next time I come over, I'm unless it's in the middle of the summer. <laughs> I probably wouldn't want a warm towel then, but well, that, that would be like a fun not. gift, I think, for Christmas. I'm feeling really stumped. And I know they keep saying that, you know, you should shop early. So maybe a, a, a towel warming rack, that might be. That might be a fun idea. All those stamps too, right? Like, um, and I, so yeah. I feel like we're starting to ramble here, but while we're talking yes. about Christmas gifts and ordering early, um, oh, yes. Did, yes. did you know, dot, 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 that you can create a wish list in the online store. You can select the items that you want yeah. and use the little heart icon to create a wish list. And then you can send that wish list to your family and friends who are going to order presents for you. So if you want yeah. specific Stampin' Up! items, then you can create that wish list and send it out. Encourage them to shop early so that they can have it all wrapped yes. up and ready for you under the tree in in December. That's coming. It's it's that. going too fast. I mean, you realize that that uh, <laughs> um my, uh, tomorrow two months. What's tomorrow? Twenty fifth. Oh, October two 20th. months. I, I didn't know where you're going. Two months. <laughs> two months till Christmas, Julie. Two months till Christmas. I thought maybe we were talking about like a time change or like it's not November no, yet. Not tomorrow. Yet. Yes. Not yet. Two months from tomorrow is Christmas. That's crazy. Yeah. It is crazy. It is time to start Christmas shopping. Oh my goodness. I know. I, I need your wish list <laughs> and Jim's and the kids. We'll work on that. <laughs> All right. Well, let's wrap it up. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Thank you so much for tuning in to Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie. We'll see you next time at noon Central Time, one o'clock Eastern Time, right here on YouTube. Have a great week, Mom, and everybody at you home. Enjoy you as well, Jay. Hugs to Jim and the kids. Love you. Love Bye, you everybody. Bye.